Whether you're someone's assistant or you're just stepping in for your manager for a week, you might need to schedule and coordinate events on someone else's behalf. In this short video, we'll use Delegate Dave and Manager Meredith to show how Dave can become a delegate of his manager's calendar and send an invitation to their coworker, Frank. To set this up, Meredith must grant Dave direct access to the calendars she wants him to manage. Once he has been granted access, Dave can create new events for Meredith, edit existing events, and accept or reject invites on her behalf. He will not, however, be able to change her calendar account settings, access her contacts, or use her task list. Let's see how this works. To grant access to a delegate, the manager, in our case Meredith, must first sign into her Google Calendar. She clicks the gear icon, then picks settings from the menu. Under Calendars, Meredith selects the calendar she would like to delegate to her assistant, Dave, and clicks the sharing link. Meredith enters Dave's email address, selects Make Changes and Manage Sharing as his permission level, and saves her changes. When Dave signs in and opens his calendar, he sees Meredith's name is in his My Calendars list. Meredith's events now appear on his calendar, but he can hide them at any time by clicking on her name. Dave decides to change the color of Meredith's calendar so it stands out from his a little better. He wants to be aware of changes to Meredith's events, so he decides to set up notifications. He opens the calendar's menu, clicks Reminders and Notifications, and selects a few of the options. It's vital to know if events are changed or canceled at the last minute, so Dave decides to receive these notifications as text messages in case he's away from his desk. Dave also opts to have Meredith's agenda sent to his inbox every morning so that he can better plan her day. In addition to notifications about new or changed events, Dave decides to set up default reminders for all events on Meredith's calendar. He adds a reminder that will pop up 10 minutes before each of Meredith's events, and another reminder that will email him an hour before each meeting. These notifications and reminders are only visible to Dave. If Meredith wants notifications or reminders for her meetings, she needs to add them in her own settings. Now that Dave has Meredith's calendar set up, he's ready to create an event for her. Dave creates an event as usual, but before he saves it, he selects Meredith's calendar instead of his. The event changes color to show that it now belongs to Meredith's calendar. Dave edits the event to enter more details, invite guests, and set up a video call. Now when Frank signs into his account, he receives an invitation in his inbox, and the event also appears on his calendar. When Frank opens the invitation, he can see that Meredith is the event organizer, but the invitation was sent by Dave on her behalf. If you have any questions, please check out our Learning Center at learn.googleapps.com.